Now, however step we do this, the next uh, thing or the next item we expect to happen, the next series of events <laughs> that would happen, as we can see in our flowchart over here, would be that we had the purchase order. Now we're going to receive the inventory. So at the point of receiving the inventory, we could either enter a bill at that point, which we can populate from the purchase order. A bill is a specific form that increases accounts payable, and then we can, in essence, pay the bill. Uh, or we can enter simply just a check for it at that point in time. So we're going to imagine we receive a box of guitars, which is our inventory from the vendor. In this case, we're going to start with Epiphone. That's who we buy our guitars from. And in the box, they have a bill. Uh, with it so and the, and the note that the bill might say invoice on it because to them if they were using quickbooks it would be an invoice but the bill from our perspective is is depending on what side of the table we're on when we think about the software so we might call it an invoice they invoiced us or they billed us you can call it whatever you want but when you get into the quickbooks it's a very specific term even if it says bill on it i might not enter it into the system as a bill I might just pay the bill by writing a check or expense form at that point in time. And that's what we'll start off doing this month. And then next month, we'll do more accrual transactions where we'll enter more bills uh, rather than, uh, the ex than just writing the checks. Right now, we're going to try to write the checks whenever we can for the first month. And then we'll kind of switch it up when we do the second month so we can see all different kinds of transactions.